Hi, today we're going to talk about the basic usage of R. R by itself can be used as a calculator. For example, if you open R Studio, we can type in 1 plus 4 is going to equal 5. But we can assign a specific value to create a variable. For example, we can create A equals 6, and then we can use B equals 8, and we can calculate A plus B equals 14. And you can create a list using C equals you know, 1, 2, 4, 6, 9. Then you type in C. C will be a list of values. And we can use assign, which is the same function as the C, A S S I G N. And we can assign D as our new variable. And we're going to give it a list of values 7, 4. 8, 2, and you can type D. D will be assigned with the list of values. And we can use right side assignment as well, such as list of values. And this time we assign the text. And then the text something. And we assign this one to E. And if you type in E, you will be assigned with these two text. And we can assign a list to a list. For example, E can be assigned with C with A, B, C, D, E. And we're typing F. F will be assigned with everything B concatenated together. But if there's a characters in the list, everything will be converted to the list. We can do some basic operations. For example, we can calculate the mean values of the D. But if the F is a text, we cannot do this one. If you type in mean F, it will return some error messages. But we can do the mean calculation for D. So let's type in mean D will be 5.25. And you can calculate the length of a list. Basically, calculate how many items in a variable. If you type in F, in total there are 13 F, there are 13 items in F. And we can sort F, which will rank the F from the lowest value to the highest value. We can use sort function F decreasing equals true. It'll reverse the sequence. So starting from the text and from the highest value to the lowest value. If you have questions regarding the function, you can use question mark and the function name. Hit enter. On the lower right side, you'll see the description of the function will pop up. For example, sort here, you provided the input variable x. And the default value for decreasing will define as false. You can change this one to true, which will reverse the sorting direction. We can generate the sequence using 130. This will generate from 1 all the way up to 30 with 1 as a step. We can also add a times here, like 3 times 1 to 12. This is actually generated something as a 1 to 12, but times every element with a 3. And the reverse will also be true, like 1 to 12 plus 3. This will be the equivalent thing. Meanwhile, we can use sequence generation function. It's a sequence like a 2, 20. This will generate from the 2 to 20. And then you can define the steps here as well to 20 as a 2, which will generate the 2 to 20 with the steps as 2. Moreover, you can use repeat function like a repeat 6 and times equal 5. This one going to repeat the numerical value 6 for 5 times. And we can repeat a sequence, which is like C1 and 2. We can repeat this one uh, 5 times as well. This is going to be 1, 2, 1, 2 for 5 times. And let's start talk about the logic value. The logic definition in R is going to be true and the false. Let's compare whether 1 is larger than 2. It's equal to false. Like 1 less than 2, it will be true. Whether true is 0 is false, but whether true is 1 is going to be true. Missing values in R is represented by an A number. So you can define a list as 1, 2, 3, NA, and 5. So the list will be 1, 2, 3, NA, and 5. A equals the list. This is the list. Let's calculate the length of A. This will be 5. But we can just say is NA function. 
This will determine if the item in the list will equal to NA or not. So we can put A here. So the first of three is not an A. The fourth one will be an A, right? This will be least of something. We can extract the number. So A equals an A, A. This will be an A. So what this one actually do is extracted the true value, which will be judged by the is an A function in A. We can reverse this one by A is an A. And we're going to put escalation mark which will reverse the logic this will extract the one two three and five let's talk about the character vectors you can use this is character one b gonna equals to uh, character two so it's a and b and we can use a plus b a plus b will give you an arrow because we cannot do calculations in A, but you can concatenate A and B. This will be character one and character two. There is a very commonly used function called paste. We can paste the characters with a numeric number. Like for example, we can paste the X and one. This will be X one. But you'll see there is a separation between these two. So you can define the separation between X and one. For example, we can actually use separation as nothing. So we put a quotation mark and nothing in between. Hit enter. There will be no space being defined in x and one. But you can use underscore. So there will be underscore between x and one. We can actually generate this a sequence. For example, we can concatenate a and a b here, and we can paste something as a one, two, four. Define separation as underscore. If you hit enter, you'll see you're going to paste it A with 1 and B with 2, A with 3, B and 4. So we'll continue pasting these two together. This one will be very convenient when you're trying to read a list of files to the environment if they have a common names. Then let's talk about the indexing. Indexing is also very commonly used. Now define a new list. It's going to be 4, 5, and let's uh, create some random number. So this is our A. We're going to extract it, the second value from A. So you can use A square parenthesis 2. So we extracted the second value. And the last value, you can use A equals 10. This one will return the last value because in total it has 10. If, you, if it's a very long list, you can use A and use length function to calculate the last value. This will also return the last value because this is a total length. It's going to be 10 and the 10th value will be the last value, which is four. And you can extract the range. We want to extract it the four value all the way to six. So you can use four to six. So this one, it will be the four, five, uh, three, four, seven, six. And you can also extract it every other value, right? Every other value, how you do that, if you remember one, to the length of a this one will equals to one two three four five right but we want to extract it every other values so we want to repeat this one with a step as two we can use sequence function from one all the way to the length of this one but use two as a step we cannot use a colon here we have to use the comma to define the sequence so the sequence has to be one all the way to the length of a with a step as two in this way we can extract every other values what we can do is a square parenthesis sequence one to the length of a and use a step as two so we have to change sequence to so this one will extract the 4, 1, 4, 57, 234,234.